everybody welcome back so it is day two of week two teaching you bsl and well done you're doing a fabulous job thank you very much for sharing subscribing and hitting that like button thank you so our first subject that we're going to teach you today is called when i grow up i want to be So let us teach you how to sign when I grow up, just like that. So do you remember your when from yesterday's lesson? Very good, side of your face, fingertips, when, and point to yourself, I, and grow up is just like you're growing up, okay? So again, when I grow up, I want to be. So let us teach you lots of different jobs that you might want to be when you're older. Let's begin with builder. Kellyanne, would you like to show us? Builder, oh, very good. So just like you're building some blocks, you're going up, start at the bottom, go up. <laughs> and that is builder. Well done, everyone. Let's move on to teacher. So if you want to be a teacher, Kellyanne, teacher, very good. So two hands on your chin, teach, bring it forward and push. This is teacher. So for example, when I grow up, I want to be a teacher. Well done. Let's move on to a very, very important job, especially at the moment. This is doctor. How do we sign doctor? two fingers on your hand on the back of your hand it's actually on your wrist and you're going to go two times doctor so just tap doctor very good let's move on to butcher how do we sign butcher Kellyanne butcher thumbs up and it's just under your cheekbone almost on your neck and this is butcher so tap your thumbs up twice on your neck butcher so when I grow up, I want to be a butcher. And let's go back to doctor. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. And while we're here, let's learn how to sign nurse, Kellyanne. Nurse. Okay, so you've got your C. Bring it to the side of your forehead and swipe it across. This is doctor. Sorry, this is doctor, this is nurse. Well done, we're all learning together, we're getting there, well done. Nurse, nurse, or you can sign it like this, nurse. So the second finger on your chin, you can sign it like nurse or nurse. Or you might want to be an ambulance driver when you grow up. How do we sign this? Ambulance driver. So this is ambulance. So just like you know, like the alarm of an ambulance. Ambulance and driver. Let's try that again. Ambulance driver or doctor or nurse. And you can do it like this too. Nurse. Great job, everyone. Let's move on to farmer. Now we did sign this last week in Old MacDonald had a farm. That was very fun. We sign it like this. Thumbs up, top of your tummy, to the bottom of your tummy. That's farmer, you might recognize that one. Ready? Farmer, in a circular motion, okay? So on the top of your tummy, to the bottom of your tummy, that is farmer. Very good. Now let us try and sign electrician. How do you sign that? Very good, so two fingers on the bottom of your chin, tap twice, electrician. So when I grow up, I want to be an electrician. Well done. Let's move on to waiter. How do we sign waiter? Waiter. So there is a few ways to sign this. Waiter in a circular like position, or you can do it like you're holding a plate, a big plate, and that's in a circular position again. Waiter. So waiter or waiter. To be honest, there's many ways of signing waiter, but this is my favorite one, waiter or waitress. Very good. Let's move on to optician. We sign it like this, one finger, two finger, on the other side as well, one, two, outstretched to our eyes. Now we're going to go up and down. So when we go up on this side, 
here we go down on the opposite side well, that's optician sorry optician <laughs> up and down this is waiter and this is optician this is how you sign C and optician is like this optician very good everyone let's move on to carer we sign it like this very good two hands carer so one two one two from your optician carry this on put them together one on top of the other in a circular like motion we're going forward and backwards this is carer and again carer well done everybody let's move on to bus driver so when i grow up i want to be a bus driver like you've got a big invisible wheel this is bus driver now let's move on to chef if you want to be a chef when you grow up you sign it like this two hands and upwards at chef so almost like you've got an invisible chef's hat very good so two fingers on this side together two on this side together that's on your forehead to the top and this is chef so when i grow up i want to be a chef very good let's move on to painter you might recognize this one from our hobbies last week painter up and down just like you've got your paintbrush up and down very good and dentist this is how you sign dentist dentist so one finger bent just point to your teeth this is dentist or dentist very good so like you're removing a tooth <laughs> this is dentist like you're taking out your tooth dentist or dentist very good let's move on to firefighter how do we sign firefighter oh very good so like you've got your big hose in your hand and you're going to the side the other side Whew, this is firefighter and again firefighter this is very fun firefighter well done everyone let's move on to hairdresser how do we sign hairdresser hairdresser so just like you've got invisible scissors these are your scissors in both hands and just touch your hair this is ooh, <laughs> hairdresser so when i grow up i want to be a hairdresser very good or you could want to be a manager how do we sign a manager one hand other hand one finger on each side back and forth this is manager you're doing a really good job everyone we're trying to cover as many jobs as we can so well done this is manager really really good let's move on to plumber so when you grow up if you want to be a plumber you sign it like this plumber so this one's a bit tricky actually two yeah one finger and just over the top of your one finger go back and forward <laughs> there we go this is plumber And now you know how to sign so many jobs. You also know how to sign when I grow up. Okay, so let us continue by signing my mam is, or mum or mammy. So my mam is a cleaner. Or my dad is a bus driver, dad or daddy. Or you could say my grandma or my granddad very good so you know so many jobs now that you can put together full sentences and that's our aim of this week's lessons so let me give you an example that you're going to copy in a couple of minutes my name is and when i grow up i want to be a performer my mam is a cleaner. Kellyanne, well done, thank you. Now it's your turn. My name is Kelly Ann. When I grow up, I want to be a support worker. 
My dad is a bus driver. Well done. Very welcome. Okay, so now it's your turn to pause and stop this video and put full sentences together. My name is when I grow up and my mum or my dad or grandma, auntie, anything like that is Pause this video and have lots of fun. Don't worry if you go wrong, you can always try it again. Enjoy. Fantastic. Now you know how to sign full sentences. Amazing. So let's carry on with teaching you how to sign different items that you might find around your house. So let's begin by teaching you how to sign pen or pencil like this. Like you've got a little invisible pen or pencil in your hand and you're drawing on your notebook. Okay, so this is how you sign pen or pencil in your hand. Very good. And you're drawing just like this. Well done. Great stuff. Let's move on to cup. How do we sign cup? Very nice. Cup, a little invisible cup in your hand and you're taking a little sip. So this is pencil or pen, pencil or pen and cup. Okay, so cup is like this, cup. Very good. Let's move on to lamp. This is how we sign lamp. Just like the light is coming on. Okay, have you got that? This is lamp. Well done. Let's move on to cushion. How do we sign cushion, Kellyanne? Cushion. So just like you're squeezing the cushion. And again, let's try that. Cushion. Very good. Something that you might find around your house or you might lose this many times a day. This is a TV remote. It always goes missing. So this is we how we sign TV remote. T V remote. And again, T V remote. Very good. And pan, we sign pan like this. You'll find this in your kitchen. This is a pan. Just like you're frying something back and forward. Okay, or you might have some sellotape in your house that you might want to sign. So how do we sign sellotape? Fantastic. So thumbs up, both sides. Turn them inwards and we're moving out. That is sellotape. Should we try that again? Sellotape. Something that you're using lots of at the minute is soap. So this is how we sign soap. Very good. Or you might have lots of picture frames in your house. So how do we sign picture? Lovely. Across and down. So just like you're drawing a picture. The frame is picture. Like that. Should we try that one again? Picture. Back to sellotape. Sellotape and picture. So now it is time for our end of the lesson challenge. Yes, it is our end of the lesson challenge. So we want for you to pause this video if you want to go back and go over any of the items. But your challenge today is to collect as many items of you as you can, like sellotape, like pen, like lamp, like cup, Go and find them, put a timer on your phone or get your mum or dad or a family member to help to press the timer to one minute. And you have one minute to go and find some items and sign as many as you can in just one minute. Wow, so enjoy everyone. Thank you again for another fantastic lesson. Don't forget to share this video to your friends and family. Share it to different schools around the country and subscribe and press the like button. And we will see you again tomorrow at one o'clock. Bye bye everyone.